Hi everyone, this is Richard. I'm going to take a step back and review another side subject that is related to Dart on the server, but I wanted to cover this separately because it's relatively basic, but at the same time, we have to understand this first. All right. What do we do with data? Um, basically, one way of looking at it is CRUD, C-R-U-D, create, read, update, delete. When we talk about any type of program, it's about shifting data back and forth, right? But it's especially important on the server to know this, to have this information down. Now, what do we actually do? Let's just say we have a uh, sh uh, to-do list, um, shopping list maybe, okay? I'm going to say I'm going to need to buy some milk, um, cheese, bread. Maybe I need to buy a television. Holy cow, how do you spell television? Okay, there we go. So I have to go to the store today, buy these four things. So what do I do with the data? Well, number one, I can read it, right? So I get to the store and I read it. What was the first thing on the list? Oh, that's right. What's the second thing on the list? Okay, good. And we keep going down the line. Oh, what was that last thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. it was a television, right? So you can read it. You can create things too, or you could delete things first. Um, so you could delete things. Actually, I don't need a television. I think I just uh, fixed my old one, right? You could delete things. You can create things. Oh, you know something? I need to get spinach also. I forgot about that as well. And finally, you can update things. Television, let's just say, um, oh, I need to get a 24-inch television. I have nothing too big, but I got to um, uh, change that right there. Now, of course, I could have just deleted the television and then created a new entry right inside here. But now that's taking two different steps, right? It's creating and I mean, deleting and then creating. So instead, we'll just do update. So that, those are the things that you can do with data itself. So when you have a um, web browser or you're using the web server, you have the web application, it communicates with the server, and you can either read the data, you can create the data, update it, or delete it. And the data is being held on the server and it, while it communicates with your web application. All right. Now, we'll do that in the future, but I just want to make sure that this is clear what we're actually talking about when we manipulate data itself. Thanks.